Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead code number 328, odd even linked list. So we're giving a linked list and we need to group all of the odd nodes together followed by the even nodes. So in this example, 1, 3 and 5 are the odd nodes. So they go together before the even nodes which are 2 and 4. And keep in mind here we're talking about the noted number and not the value. So here they made it simpler for us. They've put the odd nodes within odd value so that we can visualize it better. Okay, so first of all, it tells us here that the program should run with O of 1 space complexity, meaning that we're going to have to, instead of creating a new list, we're going to have to rearrange the next pointers of the already existing node, list nodes. So because of that, the first thing that we're going to have to do is surely we're going to have sooner or later to return the head, the existing head, because we're not going to create a new list. So here's here's just a sanity check. If there is no head, just return null straight away, because we don't want a missing head to mess up our calls to the next attribute of the class, of the list node class. So now we're going to store three variables that are going to help us with this task. The first one is the odd pointer. This is going to traverse all of the odd list nodes in our list. And then we're also going to need the dual for the even nodes. So obviously the odd starts from the first node and the even starts from the second. And then we're also going to need, at the, at the end of this algorithm, we're going to chain together the odd list and the even list. So to do that, we're going to have access we're going to need access to the first node of the even list, meaning that we need the even head. So that's what we store here. We're never going to change this uh, anymore. So as you can see at the end of our algorithm, here is going to be the body, the main part of our algorithm. And at the end, we just concatenate the odd list with the first element of the even list. Okay, so now here comes the main part of our algorithm. And you can think of this as Starting from, like, imagine if instead of being a list, this was an array, right? So you could start you could start from the first element of the array and the second element of the array and maintain two pointers and then move forward by two steps at a time so that you never mess up your parity. So here we do a while loop. We can do a for. I mean, we could do a for, but it's, it's better if we do a while. It's more readable. So we keep going forward as, so, as long as there are still nodes in the list. And then here's the going forward by two that I was mentioning. So since later on in the while loop, we're going to assign to our current odd cursor node odd.next, we want odd.next to be two steps along in the list so that it's still, it's still an odd node. Otherwise, if we left odd.next as is, then it would be odd.next would be an even node. And we don't want that. So instead, we set it to the next of the next so that it's still an odd node. And we do the same for the even. And now we just move forward. So we go to this pointer that we have just set. We move our odd to exactly that. And we do the same with even. So we've just set the next pointer of even. Now we need to go forward, move even to its next, which we have just set. And that's it, you know, it's, re it's really easy. And you can see that it's going to work. And this is a optimal solution because it goes through every node only once and it doesn't store any additional data structure. So it's O of one space complexity and O of N time complexity where N is the amount of nodes in the list. So that's it for now and bye.